So we're back with our second segment with Mrs. Gitty Marrow. And um, in the last segment, we spoke about uh, your time in Sweden. And I'd like to go back and just uh, hear some more about that time. You were there for three years. And as we had just spoken off camera, that um, you were probably in the hospital for a few months. So can you t tell me a little bit about your hospital stay, how long that was, and then where did you live for the, the that so that three year period? So, uh, how long were you in the hospital? When when we arrived to Sweden, they were sending us to uh, a place. It's not a hospital. It's like a school, very nice place, mm. where they had. Uh, I guess they had a dormitory there. We stay. It's a beautiful place, very nice. And they, they helped us. They checked us all the time. And, they, and they, my sister got very sick. She was in the hospital for a while. But I, that time I was better. And, and I used to, she was there for a while. And then, my brother came over to Sweden. He found out that we're there, and he and he had an apartment. And, and but I I still stayed with the, with the group of girls. And so these were the same. Were some of the same girls that those five girls. Were you separated from those five girls in, in, from Auschwitz to all the different labor camps and, and, and then to Baden Belsen? Were, were you still together or was you just no, you my, and your sister? My cousin uh, went back to Romania uh -huh. because her uh, fiancé was alive. So she went back. She was one of the five. And the other girl, I don't remember what happened to her. The other two girls. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and for a while we 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 stayed there till we got better. We started working. I worked in the hospital as helper for a while. But my sister was in in a rehab, and I used to go to visit her all the time. I'd, we sent her to another. <clears throat> another place we got, where she got treatment, and slowly she got very, she got well mm -hmm. for herself, and, and she also started working. Then we got an apartment, a small apartment, yeah, and. Uh, so you moved in with your sister yeah. when she came out of, yeah, out yeah. of the, the hospitalization? And we got an apartment and, uh -huh. and she worked uh, by uh, somebody who, who made the uh, first. She worked there uh, in a furrier place. Hmm. And uh, I don't remember what I did. Maybe I worked also something. Oh, I, I worked there. Uh, uh, in a factory, mm -hmm. you know, they gave us jobs. So we, we made some money, we, we were able to, to be on our own mm. after a while. I don't know how long ago, how long was ago it, uh, it happened then, after we arrived to Sweden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, the Swedish people were very good to us. They were very good. They entertained us and they did everything that they could to make us happy. It's a nice you story. That's a nice yeah. story. And, and uh, they were very good. So, and, so what kind of contact did you then first make with your uncle in America, Mr. Schachter? What what, was, what? How did you first come into contact with... Um, I guess with the Red Cross. Uh -huh. 
they, they, they found out that we were alive. And, and that's how we were in communication. So they were making... We were writing letters to them. Aha. To my aunt, and she wrote letters I to got us. It. Right. And uh, slowly, slowly, uh, they, they tried to get us to America by a quota, but the quota was very low. Very Years low. ago, it wasn't easy to get in here. So they sponsored you? Yeah. Mr. Shepard so sponsored you? So they sponsored the students who came as students. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But when we arrived here to this country, it was the 4th of July, I remember came by boat and they put us in an asylum first. That's the first thing they did to find out if you're not a communist. The America didn't let even, they were very strict about communism. That's not like today. And so my aunt and uncle find out that we're in Hell Asylum, they, they put out two bonds for my sister and for me. And that's how we got out from Hell Asylum, <laughs> going to the Pioneer Country Club. And uh, it, <laughs> it was a beautiful place. We had a beautiful uh, hotel. And, uh, and I had two aunts in Ohio. So when they found out we were, we were there, they came to visit us also from Ohio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And uh, slowly, slowly, the Pioneer Country Club was only open in the summer. In the winter, they closed. And uh, they had a small place in Lakewood at that time. So we used to go to the hotel in Lakewood, and they also had in Florida. Uh, Florida. And, uh, yeah, and you were living in Brooklyn at that time. You were living in Brooklyn? Yeah. In Williamsburg? Williamsburg, yeah. We had an apartment in Williamsburg. And what were you? What were you and your sister doing at that time? Were you working? Uh, my my sister was a very good dressmaker. She was a sample maker, uh, and, and she had a very nice shop. And I I I made sweaters. I was a marrow operator. Hmm. It's uh, made in. I worked in a factory doing, doing piecework sweaters. And, and we lived in Williamsburg. Then my sister got married. And we still do. I wanted to move out, but my sister didn't let me, so I stayed there. We stayed there, and I was still working. And until I got married. Mm -hmm. I got married from Williamsburg. Uh -huh. And you married, did your sister marry a survivor or? Yes, uh -huh. yes. A, a Hungarian survivor? A Hungarian, yeah. Uh -huh. And yourself, you married also, a Hungarian survivor? Hung Hungarian survivor. That was living in Williamsburg. He was, he was living in Manhattan. Aha. Uh -huh. my, my husband, and he was from real Hungary. Where I come from was Romania, Hungary, now it's Romania again. And, and then I met my husband, my friend's husband, had a place uh, in, in, uh, in, on the east side. And, and my husband, before the holidays, before the Goisha holidays was selling ties outside. He did everything to, to make a living. So he met, uh, uh, he was selling ties for somebody outside. And my friend's husband asked him, that's how we met years <laughs> ago. Are you married? Where are you from? So he said, no, I'm not married. 
And, and that's how I got to meet my husband. He introduced me to my husband. And, and we were, and my, uh, he had a brother in Manhattan who was also a cook in the hotels. And you know how I got engaged? I went out with him a few times. It wasn't like today with the shotguns. And my husband said, I would like you to meet, I'll take you to my sister-in-law. I want you to meet her. And I went to my sister-in-law. It was Kalamoy Pesa. And, and, she, and she had a friend there also, my husband. You know what they did? They broke a plate on us. Oh. That's how we got engaged. <laughs> yeah, we had no parents. He had mm. no parents. Mm. That's how we got engaged. Mm. We became Khusrika. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And then I... Well, that's that's, that's in, in the, the difficulty of that with no family around. That's quite, yeah, that's quite yeah. beautiful. That's no, quite beautiful. No. So but tell me a little bit about your husband's past. He was my also husband, a survivor. My husband was from Hungary. Mm -hmm. And Munkaj be, became Hungary. Also, he learned in the Munkaj Yeshiva. So he learned there until the, 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 he was scored in for slave labor. So he was in slave labor for three years, going from place to place, working very hard until he would survive. He had three, there were four brothers alive after the war. <coughs> and, and what kept, after the slave labor camps in 44, where was he sent? Was, uh, he went, which concentration camp? You know what happened to him? He went home after the war. And then he, he went to uh, Germany because uh, he wanted to get out of Hungary. So he was in Germany, bergen Belsen, and he came to the United States through, uh, through the, as a, as a, he came, uh, I don't know what year he came. He came after us, I think. And, and uh, Hayas helped him, you yes. know, right. to, to come to the United States, and he was working. And then he was, he knew, that after the war, he knew, knew, uh, learned the trade of knitting sweaters. So he was working in uh, knitting mills. And when we got married, you want to know about the uh, marriage or what? Well, no, I, we were just speaking about, I, like, um, in, in Hungary, uh, he was in uh, slave labor divisions right yes. through from 44 onwards to the end, or was he in a concentration camp? They, they took him from place to place until he was liberated in Germany. They took him uh -huh. at the last time. They took him to Germany. Uh -huh. That's where he was liberated. And, and Do you recall where in Germany? What? Do you recall where he was liberated in Germany? Where he was liberated? Or by Germany. which army? By which army? I think by uh, I don't know exactly where, but I know that he went home after the war. Uh -huh. But he was liberated in uh, by the American army or the British army? Did he? Do you remember him telling you? Oh, maybe he was liberated in. Uh, Budapest, I think, and slowly, slowly he went home. He come, came from a small town uh -huh. in Hungary, okay. and he had, uh, th they were four brothers alive. Mm -hmm. They were all there. So, and then... So four of his brothers survived? 
three of his brothers, three of also, his brothers also different places uh -huh. and they went and the, and the parents did and not. he was a little time in, in some time and he they decided to leave to leave Hungary so they all all came here to America yeah. And what else you want to know about? Well, yeah, so I, I think I understand that um, two survivors meeting after the war, yeah. marrying. And um, so you have a large family now, and um, how many children did you and your husband have? I ha my husband? Yeah, how many children did you and your husband have? How many children did you have? Two sons and a daughter. Two sons and a daughter. Uh -huh. And 25 grandchildren. Uh -huh. And a lot of great grandchildren. Any idea how many, many great grandchildren? I don't know. A round number, a ballpark figure, as we say in America. Much more. Thirty, forty, fifty. Something like something that. Something like that. Good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Every year I make more and more. Of course. My one son has twelve children, and my other son has seven. My daughter is six, three and three. Uh, so my the, the one who has twelve children, eleven married already. And uh, my other son and they all they, she has they have five boys and two girls. So the youngest one, two two are single by them. Beautiful, beautiful, such an office. Yeah. Before we go on to uh, the photographs, because you have some photographs that we're going to be looking at, um, I just want to um, ask just one more question, and it's a question around faith. And you come from a religious family, religious woman, yeah. both you and your sister, and I'm sure your cousin as well, and the other two girls. I'm curious, what... What role did faith have in your survival? What was the role? I don't even remember. It's very difficult to remember. Mm -hmm. You know, but just yes. recollecting, looking back. Looking we back. were always hoping that that Hashem will help. We will get. Uh, we'll be alive and see our parents, but it never happened. That was very, very difficult things. And, uh, that when we found out the real truth, it was very difficult for us. But we always hoped in the in our room. I mean, we came to this country. And my my aunt and uncle helped us marriage and everything. I, I, they made so, them. Uh, so your aunt and uncle, the Schachters, helped you um, with your marriage? And the, yes. And the financing of everything? The they cemetery. made the wedi wedding they for us. They made the wedding, beautiful. And, and they, they even fixed up our apartment. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah. Yes, for my sister, for me. And, and they were like, like uh, we were lucky to have them. Very lucky. to help us. Um, my uncle, he worked very hard, and, and uh, we have some pictures from. Used to send my mother used to send to them. We have some pictures of my childhood. One. Photograph that I am on it too. Yeah. Nice. We're going to have a look at those now. Yeah. This is Mara. We'll have a look at these now. Okay, so we're going to take another break now. Yeah. And we're going to just set up the music stand to look at some of these photographs. So we're going to cut now and we'll be back momentarily. Okay.